Hey my queens and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine aka Curly Geisha and thank you so 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 much for joining me. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you so much for all of your support, your likes, your shares, your comments. I want to tell you how grateful I am and how appreciative that I am of all of your support, all of your love. And if you're new, welcome. Welcome to the journey. Welcome to our journey because we're learning together. We're growing together. We're sharing tips and suggestions so thank you so much and don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to leave comments don't forget to introduce yourself let's get to know each other let's get to grow together so in this video it is about moisture moisture is extremely important for hair growth and for healthy hair not only hair growth but healthy hair you don't want to be having long hair but most of it is dead like most of it is split ends and in dead you don't want that so moisture is very important moisturizing your hair is extremely important moisture to your hair is like water to your body and you know you need water for your body you need water to sustain so moisture for your hair is like water to your body so always remember that moisture 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 the moisture is the important thing to help your hair grow healthy and long and thick depending so you need to make sure that your hair is moisturized and also you don't want your hair screaming at you you don't want your hair rebelling you don't want your hair talking to you crazy you don't want your hair just doing what it wants because you're not giving it TLC that it needs you're not giving it the moisture that it needs you need your hair to flourish you need your hair to cooperate you need your hair yelling at you like this J hey J J J come back here that's going to be your hair screaming for moisture so you need to make sure that your hair has moisture I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can moisturize your hair what you can do to moisturize your hair and these are going to be simple tips for you and suggestions for you and so I'm gonna help you out that's what I'm here that's why I'm here this is what I'm here for to help you out to give suggestions to give you a guide so you can take it so you can try it so you can tweak it for yourself and that's why I'm here. So let's get into it. I got it all covered like a wedding band. Wonder land so my alias is out. The first tip that I have for you on this journey of moisture is pre point pre point has become a really, really big staple of mine. So the pre poo will protect your strands from the dryness that's caused by the shampoo from stripping your hair so that's another way to retain moisture before you even start your washing process so that is step one for you and i will also link above my pre pooing process you can either pre poo with oils you can pre poo with conditioner you can pre poo with oils and conditioner or you can pre poo with aloe vera or you can pre poo with aloe vera and oils Love your preferences, try them out, see what you like, let me know. That will link above my pre poo video so you can see that. So if you need me, if you want me, put it on you. Okay, second tip that I have for you, and it's another important, very, very important, extremely important tip deep conditioning. Deep conditioning is extremely, 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 extremely important. Deep condition every week. It is extremely important. It again has helped my hair flourish. It has helped my hair stay healthy. It has helped my hair grow. Even with me getting color, what, a year ago, I haven't had any breakages. I haven't had any dryness any split ends from the color. It's because I deep condition my hair every, every week. Deep conditioner helps your hair get the moisture that it needs. It softens your hair and it also helps get the moisture that it needs. It strengthens your hair and it just helps the health of your hair. So deep conditioner is extremely important. And I would think, I would say for my suggestion that you deep condition every week because that's what has worked for me. Um, and again, remember your body needing water is like your hair needing moisture. You don't want to skip a day without drinking water. And you don't want to skip a week without getting moisture into your hair. You don't want to skip a week without deep conditioning. So make sure you please deep condition. And if you're not sure about going out and buying deep condition deep conditioners or what deep conditioners work for you, you can just mix up your own in the meantime. So I have 
some suggestions for you. So, I have this Aussie Moist. I have a video up on this that I just uploaded. So I have a video up on this on how to mix it up. So you just take Aussie Moist or you could take a Tresemme or whatever. Whatever regular rinse out conditioner you can take and then just add your choice of oils. I'll take the Aussie Moist and I'll add grapeseed oil and I'll add castor oil and I'll add grapeseed castor um, and olive oil and honey. Honey gets moisture into your hair. Honey is a humectant and humectants are really especially good for low porosity hair and honey is amazing for low porosity hair. So when I mix up my deep conditioners, I put the honey and I put the oils. So yes, deep conditioner is extremely, extremely, extremely important for moisture. Tip three, with the deep conditioner, sit under a hood dryer or your steamer i've never tried a steamer i don't know how they work but i know people have suggested steamers um so you can try that but me i do a hooded dryer um i sit under the hood dryer for about 15 minutes so it can help my um so it can help the moisture penetrate my hair so i sit it in for about 15 minutes and that heat helps me, especially for low porosity here again, we need the extra help to get the moisture inside. So the heat helps. So sit under the hood dryer for about 15-20 minutes is really good when you have deep conditioner in your hair. So that's my tip number three. Tip number four, when you're rinsing out your deep conditioner, you can rinse with warm water but your last rinse should definitely be cold water and what it does it opens up the cuticles and this is extremely important for low porosity hair so for the low for the so for the last rinse you need to close back your cuticles to lock in that moisture so the last rinse should be cold water cold water will close back your cuticles so that's extremely important to retain the moisture in your hair so again, when you rinse it out your deep conditioner, you can the first rinse could be warm water, and then the last rinse, the last rinse has to be cold water to close the cuticles to lock in that moisture, and that is extremely, extremely important because you just wasted your time. You just wasted your time if you don't lock in that moisture. About your hope is hope or what the future holds. Tip number five. Tip number five I have for you is using water when, before you even style your hair so having a spray bottle I make sure that my hair is wet before I would apply any products any styling products to my hair I make sure that my hair is wet water is a natural moisturizer um, so I make sure that my hair is wet before I apply anything I will link above my videos doing my washing goes and you will see that my hair is wet before I style anything now again it may not work for you it, it doesn't work for everybody for, but for my hair for my hair to retain moisture for my hair to have moisture and for my style to last I need to make sure that my hair is wet when I'm styling while I'm styling so what I put in my water bottle so this is a water bottle, just get any water bottle. I have this vegetable glycerin that I put in. And then aloe vera. So I have the vegetable glycerin, the aloe vera with the water. And I will I have a little clip for you to show you what I do and how easy it is just to mix it. But those three things has helped my hair retain moisture. Those three things has helped my hair soften, especially in the drier months. It has helped my hair soften and retain moisture. So, what is a natural moisturizer? And vegetable glycerin, it softens the hair and it helps bring in the moisture. And aloe vera helps moisturize your hair. So, those things together, you have to win. You have to win. But you have to be careful how much vegetable glycerin you put in your water bottle. That's the thing. So, I will have a video I'm gonna put up the clip I just squeeze one big squeeze and then another squeeze I fill up the rest of the way 
wasn't that easy. That's another thing that you can try. If you don't want to try the vegetable glycerin, you can just put the water and the aloe vera juice and that will work just fine as well. For the next tip is sealing in the moisture. So depending on your hair type, you can seal it in with the oil or you can seal it in with shea butter. So for me, um, I like to seal it in with my oil mixture. So my oil mixture is, is grapeseed oil, cast oil and olive oil so you can seal it in with your oil mixture or if you're like if your hair likes um if you hair like shea butter you can seal it with seal it in with shea butter but sealing in your moisture is extremely important to lock that in and to just keep it intact so sealing in your moisture is extremely 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 important and then for the last tip that I have for you is your styling products. With your styling products, you want to look for water-based products. So water-based products means that water is the first ingredient and that is a moisture product. So that is something that is extremely important with styling your hair, making sure that your hair get the moisture that it needs. So the last thing is your products. Your products is also important to help keep that moisture because you don't want to prep your hair for all this time and then you get to the products and it's like wait what your hair looking at you crazy so you want to make sure that you get the right products products that is water based products that whose first ingredient is water and also products that works for you so you see on my channel that I use the, my top my top brands that I'll suggest to you Eden Body Works, their coconut shea line, curls, their blue blurry and bliss line, and also their cashmere caviar line, as I am the long and luxe line, and TGIN. So you can try those for your styling products. Those are good. I really enjoyed using those. So make sure that you are using the right styling products for your hair. Knowing your hair is very important. Knowing the porosity of your hair is very important. Knowing what your hair likes and don't like is very important. Like for my hair, my hair doesn't like shea butter. So, you know, something that's mainly, that mainly has shea butter in it won't work for my hair. And I don't put shea butter on my hair, but shea butter may work for your hair. So just knowing what your hair likes and going and and figure out what products work for you is extremely important as well for retaining that moisture and the health of your hair and the flourishment of your hair. <sighs> so yes, that is my tips for retaining moisture. That is my tips for getting moisture in your hair, for retaining moisture to help your hair grow, for the health of your hair, for the flourishing of your hair. It is extremely, extremely, extremely important for you to have moisture in your hair. It's extremely important for you to retain the moisture. It's extremely important for you to add moisture into your routine and take steps to get the moisture in your hair, in your cuticles, in your hair strands. It's extremely important. So again, we have the pre-pool, and you can pre-pool with oil, or you can pre-pool with conditioner, or you can pre-pool with conditioner and oil, you can pre-pool with aloe vera, or you can pre-pool with aloe vera and oil, you can just pre-pool with oil. Then we have the deep conditioner. You can either buy your deep conditioner um, or you can just make your own again with the Aussie Moist and just mixing your oils and honey. Or trust me, mixing your oils and honey with everything you prefer with deep conditioner is very important. Deep conditioning with heat or steam to open up your hair cuticles to get that moisture in to make sure the moisture penetrates your hair. And especially for low porosity, that is extremely important to moisturize. I mean, it's extremely important for you to use heat or steam to open up your hair cuticles because they're laying flat. So you need them open. The heat and the steam is going to help that. So people, deep conditioner, dryer, steamer, and then rinse it out. And the last rinse has to be cold water to close those cuticles again. So last rinse, cold water. Very, very, very important. And then when styling your hair, have a water bottle with you because water is a natural moisture. If you just want to use water, that's fine. But I, I like to give my hair a little bit of help. So I add, um, I add vegetable glycerin and olive, but you don't have to add vegetable glycerin. You can just add olive vera juice, and that's extremely important. Make sure that your hair is wet when applying your products. Um, and then your styling products is extremely important as well. Knowing your hair and 
and doing a trial and error figuring out what products work for you what you like what your hair don't like if your hair like heavy butters or if your hair just like light butters or if your hair if your hair likes heavy butters or if your hair just just like leave-in conditioners it's extremely important for you to know so yes that is my tips and my tricks and I hope that it helped you. I hope that it sparked something in your mind. And if you have any suggestions, any other suggestions, just leave it down in the comment box. Let's talk, let's interact, let's get to know each other. And thank you so, so, so much for joining me in this video. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, be great, go after what you want, stay motivated stay focused believe manifest what you want and believe that everything will work out the way it's supposed to be